Hello and welcome back to this tutorial where we will learn how to dynamically add an active class to elements in Angular. This technique is fundamental for improving user experience by providing visual feedback on interactive elements. Whether you have managing a list of items or creating tabbed interface, mastering this will take your UI skills to the next level. First ensure you have latest version of Angular installed. We will start by creating a new Angular project with the CLI by running this command ng new project name press enter it will create a new project for you i already have created it so i will be using my existing one once setup is completed navigate your uh, to your project folder and open it in your editor i am using vs code as my editor in this video imagine you are building a website with navigation menu you want to active link to be highlighted or maybe you are working on a dashboard with several tabs and you need to indicate the active tab clearly. We will tackle these common scenarios. Let's start with a simple list in your components HTML file. Uh, add a list of items using ng file directive. We will use a click event to set the active class. So for that, first of all, we will need to add the items property. And here you can add multiple uh, links like this. And here you can add selected index is equal to zero and let's create a function set active class and indexed index is the parameter that we will get when this function will be called and we will set the selected index to the index that is coming from the parameter now let's add the relevant html and here let me add the item dot name and here we will add the ng for loop let item of items and here we will uh, get the index by using this index let i is equal to index so in this way you will be getting the index of every iteration in your loop and the index will be saved in the i variable that is a custom variable that we just defined and here i will add a directive class dot active and in the value i will pass the condition that when this class should be added so here we are saying that if i is equal to selected index then it should add the active class on it so for example if i is 2 and the selective a uh, selected index is 1 then it will not be active but if selected index is 2 and i is also equal to 2 then it should be added all right and other than that let me add the click event that whenever whenever we click on that it will it should basically call the function that we just created set active class so you can set the active class di directly from here as well but let's do that in a separate function that we created in the component all right now let's test it in the browser these are the menu items that we have right now let me show you that in inspect element that we have active class on the first one and this is because in the active selected index we have zero if you change it to two then this will add the active class on the third one like this and now if you click on any list item it will change the active class and move it to there you can see it removed the removed the active class from the third one and add it on the first one okay this is because we are updating the selected index property this is one way second way is that uh, you don't have to use this selected index feature i mean you can just get rid of that here you can receive the item that where you are on right now and you can just use item dot first of all we need to remove the active class from all of the objects right now there obviously in the first time it there will not be any active class but whenever you call this function second time there must be an active class on one of these objects so i will use this dot items dot for each and here i will pass a callback function and here i will be receiving the item and then i will set item dot active to false for all of the items so with that by default there would not be a, any active property on any of these objects but once all of the items are reset this way i will just simply get the item dot active is equal to true okay and this time this is not number this is an entire object okay so let's go back to the html here i will pass the entire item instead of index and we don't need this index anymore and here instead of using this condition i will use a simpler condition that would be item dot 
active so if there is a true property true value in this in this active property then it will add the active class so let's give it a quick try right now you can see that there is no active class yet but if you go back to the ts file and let's say we will add the active property here true save it and this time you will see the active class has been added here if you click on here it will change the active class and put it on a different list item so for a more complex scenario such as tabs with routing angular provides the router link active directive in order to demonstrate that i must have to uh, create some components so that i could show you so here first of all in the component here this is the main root component here you can add app uh, you can add router outlet here and in the routing module let's add three paths this is the home uh we don't need to add the slash home and the component is going to be uh, actually let's quickly create a component ng generate c and we can have home component press enter and then let's create two more components we have about and contact now let's add these components here let me add another path about we don't need to add slash here i guess all right now we have our components and we have the router outlet so if you look at that we have the home works text that is coming from the home component if you want to see in the inspect element you can see that as well we have the app home component being loaded here with the help of the router outlet now it's time to add the router link active directive to add the active class dynamically instead of using this condition let me get rid of all of this logic that we added earlier we don't need it anymore okay and here i will add router link active directive and we will give it the class that we want it to be added in our list item whenever whichever menu is active so here i can add the class active and another thing actually we have to add the link tag as well to make it work properly let me move it to the a tag and here i will add href and let's give it the path that we are getting from the items for the home we don't need to add slash home because we know that it is just slash router link active options and here we should add exact true so instead of adding a href i sh we should add router link we made a mistake here instead of using href we should have used the link here we also need to add router link here instead of href now you can see that we have active class here but there is no active class on others so if i click on other you can see that contact component has been loaded we have contact in the url and here we have the active class on the contact link okay let's just add a quick style just to differentiate which one is active okay now you can very clearly see that the link that is currently active will have the active color this automatically adds the active class to the element when its route is active sometimes you need more control over the classes for that we can use ng class so let's say here i have a div somewhere and in that i will add a ng class directive and in that you will pass a property current class we have to define this property in our component ts file and this property is going to contain an object of classes so very first property is active and you can add a condition here so so let's say we have a variable variable abc and i can check that if variable is equal to abc then add this class okay let's test it this is the testing string that we just added and there is active class because this condition is being matched if you make a change here uh, then condition would be false and you will not see any active class anymore you can add many more classes as well like this 
okay because this condition is true right now that's why it is adding the inactive class you can add classes without the condition as well like this and you will see that hello class has been added all right we have covered three methods to dynamically add an active class in angular remember the best method depends on specific use case practice these techniques to find which one suits your needs best don't forget to like share and subscribe for more angular tips happy coding see you next time